Hello friends, welcome. Now let's get started and work with the last section which is the contact me. So let's go in the VS code and in the front end let's create a new component and name it contact me.view. Here I'm going to add a script setup and also add the template. Let's add this one on the welcome. So the contact me, self close it and save. The contact me needs the primary color. Let's go and add here. So first we need to add a section with the class to be a section bg light primary and on the dark dark primary bg dark primary okay next as always we are going to add the div with the class container mx auto and let's save and let's go and look yeah here we have now what I want, I want something like this. So we are going to have the header paragraph and then I'm going to have two sections. In this section, I'm going to display the contact me with email. I'm going to display the email and also the address. And in another section, I'm going to add the form, the contact. So let's get started. And inside this container, I'm going to add div with the class to be flex flex call and item center text center items center text center and here add the h2 with the class section title and I'm going to say contact me and I'm going to add the paragraph with the class subtitle and let's add some lorem ipsum here okay and let's save it and yeah we have something like this so similar okay now let's add here, let's close this the first div and then we need to add another div. In this div, we are going to have two sections. So div with the first section and then we are going to have a four. Okay, first let's add some classes to this one. And I'm going to just uh, copy and paste. So let's copy and let's paste the first one flex flex gold on large flex row large cap x8 okay then in this div i'm going to add also some classes so let's just copy and paste to save you some time class flex flex one flex gold items start space y8 margin bottom 12 on large margin bottom zero and large padding to padding top two on the form also i'm going to add a class so let's copy and paste like this now if i save nothing is going to change right now because we don't have uh, nothing inside this div and also in the form let's add the first one what we are going to display on the first div so as i said i'm going to display the contact me with email and also the address so i'm going to add a div with the class flex flex call on large flex row and gap x4 here and inside i'm going to add two divs so let's add a div and another 
div here. Now in the first div, I'm going to add the SVG, US, the SVG you can find here on the hero icons. For example, just search for mail and here we have the SVG or search for map. And yeah, here we have the map. Anyway, so let's go back and let's add also some uh, classes here. So to this one, I'm going to add classes for the SVG. So class, and let's say text accent rounded small with 14 H14, flex item start, justify center, margin top two, margin bottom four, on large margin bottom zero, and text to Excel. And inside this, let's add the SVG. And as I said, so you just go here and search for mail, for example, and I'm going to copy this one and paste it here. And let's save and let's go. Yeah, here we have. Okay, now let's close this one and in this other div, I'm going to add the hedge four. So let's copy this and paste it here. H4 with class font body text to text Excel and margin bottom one. And I'm going to say here have a question. I'm going to add then a paragraph and I'm going to say I am here to help you with the class margin bottom one and text paragraph and another one where I'm going to say uh, email me at my email, for example. Okay, so email me at johndo.com. If I save and let's go, and we have something like this. Okay, let's just copy now this one and paste it. Let's save, and yeah, we have two. Now let's change the text and also the SVG. In the SVG, let's search for map. And if you want link, uh, this one, okay. If you don't want this, let's copy and replace the SVG with this one. Go back and see what we have. Yeah, here we have the SVG. Okay, just now we need to change also the text. And I'm going to say, current location and I'm going to add my city which is Tirana Albania okay and then I'm going to say uh, I'm going to say serving clients worldwide Okay, let's save and let's see. Yeah, here we have. And I think it's okay now. Now let's go and work with the uh, form. Okay, let's close this div and also this one. Inside the form, we need the name, the email, and also the uh, body. So let's add first a div with the class to be flex. And I'm going to add a gap of eight. Inside here, I'm going to add another div. And here we are going to have also the span for the error. So let's add another div and here is going to be the input the type is going to be text and let's give it a class of input we have created in our uh, CSS yeah here we have
OK. And let's give it a placeholder to be your name. OK, let's close the input. And I'm going to add a span for the error span. And I'm going to say class text is going to be small. Margin is going to be two. Text is going to be a red 400. And let's say here just for now the error. If I save and let's go and see, yeah, here we have your name and the error is going to be here. Okay, now let's go and add the email and also the text area. Okay, uh, here we have the div let's create another div and inside this the same just copy this and paste it here and not text type is going to be email here okay the class is going to be input and the placeholder is going to be your email and I see, and you see here I added the flex, so we are going to have something like this now. If you like, okay, if you don't like, you can add here, create another div. Okay. Now let's add also the body, the, yeah, the text area. So after this div here, I'm going to add the text area which is going to have the class of text area and let's give it a placeholder your message and I'm going to say a spell check false Okay, okay, here we also need to add an error. So let's copy and paste it in here. And I'm going to add also after the text area. So let's paste it here. Now let's save and let's see what we have. Yeah, we have something like this. The form and the message and error 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 we need the last one which is going to be the button and i'm going to copy the button and paste it here after this spawn and let's save this and yeah here we have send the message and i think it is okay now if i inspect the elements Here we have the contact me on the large, on the small iPhone 12. Have a question, the email and also current location. Then we have a form with a set, send message. Okay, I think it's okay. Also, let's see on the dark mode. Just let me change the dark mode and it's looking like this. I think it's okay for me. Also, let's remove this one. Yeah. Here we have, and I think it's okay. Now let's work with the logic of the form in the next video. So see you there.